So what would you do if you found yourself as a United States combat veteran with a creative itch that you just couldn't scratch? Well, you write an entrancing and captivating fantasy ebook, of course. Hi, I'm indie author and vlogger Garrett K. Jones, and for the July edition of Author Awareness, I'm interviewing independent fantasy writer and podcast host Joshua Lee Ronan about his soon to be released ebook, Daigo. Hey, happy Saturday. I have a few short announcements to give to my viewers before I get into the interview with Josh. First up, the third season of my podcast, Creator's Corner, went live this past Monday. The theme for this season is storytellers. Take a listen to this. The dark void of space yawned eternally into nothingness. White and yellow dots of glowing light twinkled faintly over the velvety ink of the expanse. Nothing could be heard. Nothing could be seen. Except for a shuttle pod drifting lazily. The gunmetal gray manufacturing made the triangular craft look nearly invisible against the starry galactic backdrop. The ship's aft thrusters, powered by a small fusion battery the size of a shoebox, ignited every eight hours, pushing the pod ever further on its trajectory back to the inner tract of the Sol system. Over the course of time, it made its way from the planet Threshold 5, formerly KOI 947.01, in the Proxima Centauri system. The nearly four and a quarter light year trip had taken some time, even with the powerful sublight engines driving the shuttle pod back towards its planet of origin, Earth. The next episode coming up features a great dramatic piece from indie author and Ohio native, Dina Alarian, and you won't want to miss it. Now, if you'd like to see your work turned into an audio episode for the podcast, you can click on the registration link down in the description box, or you can click that contact link if you have any additional questions. Now, the next big announcement that I have for my audience is that we are just three weeks away from Author Awareness August, which is my month-long series of interviews. I've got guests from the United States, the UK, and Australia. I'll have more about those authors next week. The third big announcement is that not only is August 1st the start of Author Awareness August, say that three times fast, it's also the drop date for the first in a new series of cover art for my books. However, if you want to get an early sneak peek at the new cover for book one, I'll tell you more about that at the end of this video. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications on new videos. You can select notifications for all videos, or you can select notifications based on your preferences. If you're watching on your phone, be sure to update those settings inside the app itself to get the most out of your viewing experience. All right, so let's see that interview with Joshua Lee Ronan. Hi, Josh. Thanks for joining me. Tell me about your work. What do you write? Hey, Garrett. Thank you so much for having me, man. Uh, so I write mostly science fiction and fantasy. Currently working on an epic samurai fantasy right now, the first book in a seven-book series uh, called The Peacemaker Saga. Um, yeah, I like to do stuff that's not quite traditional fantasy. I think we've seen enough Eurocentric fantasy white Eurocentric fantasy specifically, uh, and I wanted to do something a little bit different. So yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. So how did you get into writing? So I started writing um, as far back as I can remember. I was making comics on, uh, <laughs> on computer paper with crayons and stuff. Um, and as I got older, inspired by mostly fantasy and science fiction movies uh, and some books, I started kind of writing my own stories just naturally. Um, to be honest, I did it more than I did my schoolwork usually. In the sixth grade, I tried writing my own trading card game. So I would make trading cards out of uh, just standard three by five note cards um, and then draw the pictures on them, draw the effects on them, 
uh, and then of course write the lore and the, the rules for the game and things like that. And then in high school, I actually started working on uh, a Dragon Ball Z RPG <laughs> online. And it sounds really nerdy, but it was way cooler than it, uh, than it sounds. Um, but that's where I got my, my real deep understanding of story structure. Uh, and I've carried that into the books that I write today. What are some of your inspirations as a writer? Yeah, so I try to draw from just about everything that inspires me, really. I would say that when it comes to the heaviest um, inspirations that I have, uh, history is a big one. I'm a huge, huge fan of history, especially military history. And um, I love reading up on it. I love learning about the people that kind of shaped that part of the human experience. And uh, I try to use history as much as I can to inform the stories that I create. I'm writing, obviously, the epic samurai fantasy now that's inspired by Japanese war history, working on another one that's inspired by the military history uh, surrounding the rise of Islam in Muhammad's time. And uh, yeah, just doing a bunch of other things that are uh, as focused on history as I can be. I think that history is the greatest teacher. And so uh, I do my best to incorporate it as much as possible. What has been the hardest part or biggest challenge in the creation of your work? So I would say by far the biggest challenge in um, this whole crazy shebang of, of writing stories and trying to be an author in the 21st century is finishing stuff. Uh, trying my best to turn off the inner critic and believe in my own creativity, um, believe in my own vision. That can be really, really hard to do, especially because I suffer from bipolar disorder and PTSD. So sometimes I feel like I can't trust my mind. And, uh, you know, I'll get 75%, 80% through a project and feel like it's not good enough. Or worse, that it's just bad and drivel. Um, and I'll stop and restart and rewrite the whole thing over again. And a big lesson that I've learned over these last two years is to trust myself, trust my instincts, get the work done, get the words on the page, and then give those words to someone else so that they can critique them. If you could give any advice to other would-be authors out there, what would you say to them? Yeah, I think the best piece of advice that I can give is to trust yourself. Um, you are making what you are making because you are inspired by similar things. Or the idea itself, on its own, is inspiring to you. And if it's inspiring to you, then chances are it's going to be inspiring to other people who like similar things. So uh, sometimes when we write, it can feel like, who is ever going to like this? Who's ever going to appreciate this? Well, chances are a lot of people if you get your work into the right hands. So yeah, all you new artists out there, um, all you new writers out there that are trying to put out art um, believe in it. Believe in yourself, believe in your creativity and your imagination, and believe that people really will like it if you finish it and put it in other people's hands. A big thank you goes out to Joshua Lee Ronan for participating in this month's author awareness interview. Now, if you want to connect with him, there are a bunch of different ways to do that. He's got a website, joshualeeronan.com, and he's on Twitter at Joshua Lee Ronan. Pretty simple. He also hosts a podcast called Ronin Uncensored, which can be found on all major platforms. And if you want to support his creative work, you can do so on patreon.com slash Joshua Lee Ronin. His ebook, Daigo, will be available everywhere ebooks are sold starting on September 18th of this year, which is just a little over two months away. Be sure to check it out. Hey, thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, please make sure to like and share this video because that's really the only way that this channel is going to be able to grow its viewership. Now, if you find yourself in a position to be able to do so, I'd ask you to consider becoming a channel supporter by clicking on the link down below in the description box and going to patreon.com slash gkjpublishing. On that site, you will find support tiers of one, three, and five dollars each. Each tier comes with its own set of sweet perks, plus you get recognition at the end of the month on the final video. 
One very special perk that all tiers are sharing right now is that you'll have a one week early access to the new cover art for book one, The Heirs of Metanias, before I broadcast it August 1st through social media. Don't forget to register your short story or poetry for season three storytellers and make sure to connect with me on Instagram and Twitter at GKJ underscore publishing. And I will see you guys next week for the July segment of Creator's Corner. The vlog of the Five Kingdoms is filmed without the use of a live audience at Skyrocket Studios in Hanford, California. We can't do what we do without your help, so please make sure to subscribe by clicking the button that's above my head and make sure to watch and share the videos over here to my left. Have a great week.